with light okay so we're going to have a look at how you can create these amazing types of photographs by using uh, artificial light sources uh, to paint with light so there's a couple of tools that we are going to need okay so one of the first ones you're going to have to have is a tripod now this is essential really for doing this type of photography so you will need a tripod of some sort obviously so that you can do very long exposures less essential would be a cable release a cable release or a wireless remote these are ways of triggering the, the camera shutter button without actually having to press it on the camera itself so a cable release will attach to the side of the camera with a wire and is limited to the length of the wire but you can simply press this in and you can actually lock it as well so that you can switch your camera to bulb you can press in the shutter button and you can lock it and it'll remain locked until you unlock it so you can control the duration of the exposure with a wireless remote these are exactly the same idea instead you're not limited by a cable but they still have the locking mechanism so when you are photographing on the bulb mode you can lock the exposure into place for as long as you like now the next thing you will need is some type of light source to be able to actually paint with and I'd recommend if you are serious about this check out a photographer named Jason Page Jason Page J A S O N P A G E and he created these great light painting brushes lots of variations of them and um, you can get some really incredible photographs um, you know using these light painting brushes but it is possible to make them yourself if you just google uh, DIY light painting brushes you'll find lots that you can make using old plastic bottles and bits of coloured uh, paper and so on as well but check out Jason Page as well he's got lots of great um, tools there for doing this type of photography there is also another famous type called the pixel sticks these are a little bit more kind of a graphical type of um, light painting that you'd be doing and as you can see here you've got these incredible shapes and designs that you can make using these pixel sticks so you might have a look at those too a function that you might get familiar with on your camera as well is also called mirror lockup mirror lockup is very useful when doing very long exposures as this will lock your mirror up and it helps to reduce what's called camera sh or camera shake mirror shock even if you're doing a very long exposure when the um, mirror comes back down after a long exposure it can actually cause what's called a mirror shock which is a little bit of vibration and end up causing a blurriness in your photograph because of these micro vibrations so a mirror lockup would allow you to lock the mirror up it'll mean you need to use your camera's LCD to compose the photograph but it will help to reduce any camera shake caused by the mirror coming back down after a long exposure so check out your camera's manual and your menus to see if this is an option available to you so with all of that then this is a step by step you need a tripod cable or a wireless remote okay you want mid to higher aperture values to reduce the light to lengthen the exposure so you want to close those apertures down to get a longer exposure you want to keep your eyes so very low from about a hundred and you can build it up gradually if needs be but try to keep it as low as possible so you get a nice clean photograph with not much noise you want to use a location with very little light so you want to try and stay away from areas that are very brightly lit I also recommend that you bring somebody along with you in this particular case as well you want to move very quickly then when you're painting so you can use your phone you can use your torch you can use sparklers you can use those light painting brushes that we had a look at a little earlier on but Whichever you decide to use, you need to move very quickly when painting. If you stand still for too long, you are going to end up in the photograph. So, I hope that gives you a little bit more insight into...